Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving cube root x par square root x equal to 256 square. We will solve this question by three methods again. While solving this problem, we will use the properties of exponents, the properties of log. We will conclude our result through Desmos using, you will see the graph also. So let's get started. Let me write method number one. I am writing here one using exponents. Okay. I will begin by writing the property of exponent. It is a power b whole power c can be written as a power c whole power b and at the same time a power b times c. Okay. So let's write this cube root x as x power 1 over 3 whole power square root x equal to 256 whole square. Now I will use this property. So I will write this as x power root x whole power 1 over 3 equal to 256 whole square. Now I will raise both sides power 3. So let me write here whole power 3 whole power 3. Once I will do that then left hand side will be x power root x equal to 256 power 6. This 3 and 3 will get over. Okay. Now see 256 can be written as 4 power 4. Okay. By this same property of exponent, I will write bc this property I will use then it will become 4 power 4 into 6. Let me write 4 power 3 times 2. Here I will write x power root x equal to 4 power let me write 6 as 3 times 2 times 4. So again by the property same property of exponent I can write 4 power 3 whole power 2 into 4 it is not 2.4 it is 2 times 4 so it will become 64 power 8 again I will write x power root x equal to 64 and 8 which is in exponent I can write root 64 now compare both sides, the base and the exponent. Once I will compare, we will conclude that x must be 64. This is using exponent. Now come to log. Second method is using log. Okay, let's take ln both sides. So I will write square root x ln x power 1 over 3 okay equal to ln 256 power 2. Now I will use the property of ln. See I have already used ln a power b is equal to b ln a. So, I can write 1 over 3, so it will become root x over 3 ln x will be equal to 2 times ln 256. Okay. Now, we will take this 3 towards right, means multiply this equation by 3, so it will become root x ln x equal to 6 times 
ln 256. Now I will write 6 times ln 256 as 4 power 4. By the same property, I will write 6 times 4 ln 4. Okay. Again, same analogy I will use. I will write 6 as 2 times 3. So let me write 2 times 3 times 4 ln 4. In next step, I would take these two terms here. So it will become 8 times 3 ln 4. Then this 3 will go to the exponent. It will reach to the exponent. So it will become 8 ln 4. 4 power 3 which is equal to 8 ln 64. Now 8 I will write as square root 64 ln 64. Now you can see left hand side is let me write here root x ln x equal to root 64 ln 64. Once I will compare both sides see this is 64 64 conclusion is x is equal to 64 third method i will use lambert w function lambert's or lambert w function take ln so I will write a square root x ln x power 1 over 3 equal to ln 256 square. I will write the same property of ln again. a power b can be written as b ln a. Okay, so let's take that property. I will write root x over 3 ln x equal to I can write 2 times ln 4 power 4 256 is 2 4 power 4 2 by the same property of ln see this is coming here and 256 is 4 power 4 same thing okay now our target is the standard form x e raised to the power x equal to a form i need to maintain. Once it is there then we can consider Lambert function. So I will write first this is 8 ln 4. Now multiply this equation it is root x over 3 ln x multiply this by 3. So it will become root x ln x equal to 24 ln 4 now root x I can write. See x can be written as e raised to the power ln x anytime. Then root x can be written as e raised to the power ln root x. So I will write e raised to the power ln root x. Now it is ln x only. So now what I will do I will put half over there. So that in next step. I will take this half to the power and once I am doing half towards left I need to do in the right hand side also okay so left hand side ultimately it will convert ln root x times e raised to the power ln root x equal to 12 ln 4 check 24 over 2 is 12. Now left hand side is I will apply the same Lambert W function application. So it will give us ln root x and right side would be W 12 ln 4. Okay. This is how we will apply. Now I will write in exponent form. So root x will be equal to e raised to the power lambda w function of 12 ln 4. Okay. 
So if you will calculate this value, then this value is coming out 8. Root x is equal to 8. Take a square both sides. x will come out 64. This is how we can conclude. Now one question is still pending. That is uniqueness of the solution. Except 64, is there any other solution possible? So to answer that question, just watch this graph. This is Desmos graph. See what I have taken in between when we were solving using logarithmic. It was equation x power root x equal to 256 power 6. Now I have drawn means this is the plot of x power root x. Now if I will remove the vertical points and horizontal these points from the grid. So it will be somewhere 256 power 6. Very big number it is. See this is 2.81 into 10 raised to the power 14 order. So that would be very big. Left hand side you are having one increasing function after attaining minima at 1 over e. It is 0 0.135. It is throughout increasing function. And see this number is very very big somewhere here. So it will intersect at most only one point because one function is increasing another is constant you will get only one point intersection and this point is x equal to 64 okay so only one solution is there which is x is equal to 64 i hope you like this video thank you so much for paying attention thanks a lot do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you